and welcome to this episode of Piping Up, presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. Our organist today is Richard Elliott, and I'm your host, Luke Howard. In this corner of the world, we are about to celebrate a holiday known as Thanksgiving, a time of gathering that traditionally coincides with harvest and an opportunity to give thanks for God's providence. Richard Elliott's program today focuses on music of small t Thanksgiving, as we anticipate celebrating capital T Thanksgiving. Some of the works on the program serve both aims, including the Lutheran chorale Nun Dunket Alle Gott, Now Thank We All Our God, which opens the program. This tune was originally composed by Johann Kruger, published in 1647, and here it's arranged by Siegfried Karg Ellert from his 1909 volume of chorale improvisations for organ. Karg Ellert organized these settings by liturgical function, and this particular chorale was included in the section designated for confirmations, baptisms, marriages, and harvest festivals. In 1970, the year before Cat Stevens recorded his iconic version of Morning Has Broken, 
The old Gaelic tune popularized by that song was used as a setting for a newly written hymn, Praise and Thanksgiving, another harvest-themed hymn of small tea Thanksgiving. In that form, it inspired the organist and composer Dale Wood to write his arrangement, also titled Praise and Thanksgiving. We'll hear that next, followed by Max Rager's contrapuntally dense Benedictus from his Opus 59 set of character pieces for the organ. Although the title Benedictus alludes directly to the liturgical traditions of plain chant, and even though this music could easily function as a worshipful benediction, Rega still intended it as a concert piece.
American composer Dan Locklear wrote a set of five organ pieces collectively titled Rubrics in 1988. The word rubric has a number of related but very distinct meanings. It originally comes from rubius, the Latin word for the color red. In ancient church manuscripts, the scribes would often write special instructions or important explanations in red ink to distinguish those passages from the regular text, which was inscribed in black. These rubricated manuscripts were almost always sacred in nature, connected to the liturgy. Eventually, the word rubric referred to the instructions themselves instead of the color of the ink used to write them. In sacred liturgies today, rubrics indicate how a church service should be conducted. In the Anglican Communion, these rubrics and the rest of the liturgy are published in the Book of Common Prayer. It was from the Book of Common Prayer that Dan Locklear selected portions of some rubrics and wrote a series of organ works based on them. During the rites for morning and evening prayers, immediately before a prayer of general thanksgiving that closes these daily offices, there is a rubric that states, authorized intercessions and thanksgivings may follow. It provides a daily opportunity to meditate on the things for which we are truly thankful to God, perhaps offer a silent prayer or other offering of gratitude. What a beautiful practice. We would all do well to take time every day, not just at this particular season, to offer thanksgivings. Richard Elliott continues his program now with And Thanksgivings May Follow from the rubrics of Dan Locklear. The pioneer hymn, Come, Come Ye Saints, isn't exactly a hymn of thanksgiving. Its lyrics acknowledge that 19th century pioneer life in the American West was difficult, exhausting, and frankly, quite dangerous. But the refrain, all is well, all is well, confesses an unfailing trust in God's providential care, no matter the circumstances. And that is something for which we can all give thanks. After Richard plays his own arrangement of Come, Come Ye Saints, we'll hear his arrangement of another hymn of gratitude for Providence. As this hymn's lyrics declare, Streams of mercy never ceasing call for songs of loudest praise for the Lord who is the fount of every blessing. So, 
two American folk hymns of the 19th century arranged by today's organist Richard Elliott. First, come, come ye saints, then come thou fount of every blessing.
There are few passages of music as powerful and profound as the choral conclusion to Beethoven's Symphony No. 9, a chorus with words by Friedrich Schiller, sometimes known as the Ode to Joy. When this music was adapted in 1907 with a new hymn text by the American author Henry Van Dyke, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, it became known as the Hymn to Joy. The final stanza ends with this assured thought. Ever singing march we onward, victors in the midst of strife. Joyful music leads us sunward in the triumph song of life. Indeed. Richard Elliott closes today's celebration of thankfulness with his own improvisation on the Hymn to Joy. Thank you for watching today's episode of Piping Up, featuring principal tabernacle organist Richard Elliott. We're glad you joined us. You are always welcome to return for the weekly live stream of these concerts, and previous episodes are also available for on-demand viewing. More information about this program, including a link to submit listener requests, can be found at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Piping Up, Organ Concerts at Temple Square, streams live every Wednesday at noon Mountain Time on the Tabernacle Choir's website, its Facebook page and YouTube channel, and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.